everybody? How's everybody? Hey, Larry. We got Steve, Todd, Joe, Steve Miller, Dottie Schaefer, Steve Clark, Larry Herzog, my mom, Jane. Mark's here, Steve. Hey, James. Everybody hear me pretty good? All right. Well, we got six people on here. Seven. Right on, Todd. Yeah. Uh, hey, Bob. Well, what's up, dude? Have you been bassing on the Elkhart this week? Tell you what, the fishing's picking up around here something fierce. Mm -hmm. What's up, dude? Gizmo. All right, well, while we let people uh, come on to here, there's about, I want to say, 25 people. Uh, hey, Jim. Uh, all right. Whoa. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, like I said, I'm going to get everybody, uh, you know, give them some time to get on here. There's 15 people right now. Uh, we'll talk for a few minutes and, uh, or maybe have a cocktail. As with all of my giveaways, you must be present to win online. Uh, Jeff's at date night, but he said he's going to have his earpiece in. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, I talked to Jeff today. Uh, I think he's coming out here tomorrow to fish. So... What's up, Steve? The hell is up? I'm sitting in the boat and it's making noises. Congratulations, big kid. Nothing like catching your first fish in your boat. You'll, for, you'll remember that forever. What's up, John? So, like I said, uh... I'm going to say this a couple times before I do the giveaway, but if you haven't commented and you want to win this, you have to go back to the video that led you here, and that will, uh, and you have to leave a like and comment on that video. That's how I'm going to draw it with the random comment picker, for those of you that haven't been here. Uh, Table Rock looks great. Um, it, it does. It looks great. What's up, Bob Sink? So, yeah, at any rate, um, it's the video that's uh, two minutes and nine seconds long. I believe it just has a picture of me sitting in the boat but yeah you gotta you gotta comment on that if you want to have a chance to win this entry fee uh, by the way the entry fee check showed up today from the anonymous donors there's two of them they wanted to remain anonymous I'd love to say their names but 
Um, it, that's not what they wanted to do, and that's fine. This is in uh, in memory of our veterans right here. So the winner of that will also, him and his partner, her, and her partner, any way you want to mix up the partnership, both of them are going to receive a Bass Tracker Classic spook uh, made in, by Shanka Lures, uh, Steve Miller, who's on here right now. If you guys are interested and you haven't seen these, uh, Steve Miller, get in touch with him at Shanka Lures on Facebook. Awesome people. So we got 18. I'm going to, you guys, I'm going to wait a little bit. Uh, I'd like to see a few more people get on. That's all right. Um, I'm kind of, I think the numbers are down on this giveaway because a lot of people just didn't enter because they probably don't know if they can come. <laughs> uh, you know, and that's, that's fine. You want to win the lure, Steve? If Steve Miller wins, I'm not giving him the lure. It also... Here, for the, you know, most of you guys have seen this, but it does talk about the inaugural Bass Tournament 2021 on the top side. Yeah, um, I'll tell you what, Steve makes them in any flavor. Uh, I have orange ones that replicate the Heritage Boat, and then I have, you know, more of the the classic and the classic XL colors. So if you have a heritage and you win this, you have the option to get orange ones. So I just brought this one out. It was sitting on top in the box. What's up, Jeff? How's date night? All right, we got 21 on here, and I'm going to reiterate, you got to be online and present to win. And if you haven't commented and liked it in the video that led you here, go do that now. Uh, I think we're going to do this at some time between 7.15 and 7.30. You know, I, I know that... Uh, it's uh, Friday night, but it's a big deal. It's $200 value, and I think uh, the person that wins is going to be very happy. Uh, I, I don't know if the donors are watching, but if you are, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I greatly appreciate uh, this opportunity for somebody to win this, to come and have a good time with us. Thank you. Both of you. How do you win the spook? You uh, you win this package, this two hundred dollar package into the tournament on May fifteenth, twenty twenty one, at Table Rock Lake. If you want these spooks, <clears throat> in the comment section, get in touch with Steve Miller. He's on here. He makes them, and he can get them. I will. Be giving the rest of, the, I have more of these to give away from a, a sponsor, by the way. So, I will be giving those away at the tournament. All right, Matthew, congratulations. What'd you win? <laughs> oh. Kids could stay home. They're not going to do anything wrong. All right, Wendy. We got 27 folks in here. That oh. 
allergies are kicking in. It was a gorgeous day here in uh, in Missouri. I'm getting some sun here recently. I gotta start putting suntan lotion on. I don't know the water. All right. Well, as most giveaways, I picked up some fireballs. I'm a big fan. Uh, I did a little fishing this afternoon. Um, I caught the smallest fish in bull shoals today that I've seen. It was about an inch and a half longer than my spinner bait. Uh, I caught I caught four little ones and two that were over a pound uh, and I caught both of those while I was on the phone with Jeff McCain and I believe Jeff is coming down here I don't know if Heather knows this yet but Jeff said he's coming down here tomorrow so we might have to a little event Dude, that was badass. That four pounder was very nice. We're gonna go look for those tomorrow morning. Wow, so we got 27 people on here. What are the odds of getting 15 more likes? Is that possible? Twenty-eight people. Fourteen. Oh wow, we're having a great time. So, at any rate, yeah, I went out fishing today uh, later on in the afternoon, and I got I got some, and uh, I lost my my favorite spinner bait that I did all the damage with the other couple days ago. That was uh, disturbing. And this fishing shop up in Forsyth, we went and picked Drake up from baseball tonight, and it was uh, closed. Their hours are like 9 to 5. Who has banker's hours at a fishing shop? Anyway. I wanted to replace that, but I don't think I'm going to get a chance by tomorrow. So, I have to make do with what I got. The rundown on the tournament. Uh, what, what would you like to know, Bob? What's up, Scott? How you doing? <laughs> I I feel you, Heather. Jeff's a handful. Can't complain, Scott. It's a great day. Really is a nice day. All right, there's quite a few more people on here that were on five, ten minutes ago. If you are interested in winning this, go to the comment section of the video that brought you here, the two minute, nine second video about this giveaway, and leave a comment and like it. Yeah, I know it sounds like a broken record for a lot of you, but some of the people haven't been here before, and you can't win if you don't like and comment. It's the way that the random comment picker does it, so... Uh, times, uh, May 15th, 2021, Table Rock Lake, Port of Kimberling City will be where it launches from. We have uh, blocks of hotel rooms if you're interested in staying there right on property. Um, the tournament's going to start around 7 and end around 3, 3.30. We'll be having barbecue and prizes and uh, uh, announcing the winners of the tournament. It's, it's going to be an all-day event. Yeah, the long video is gone. I, I shortened it up to two minutes and nine seconds. Um, 
Because I didn't think anybody was going to go watch a three-hour video. And that's fine. I just, I cut it down just to get the meat and potatoes of the tournament giveaway. The very beginning of that long video. Um, if you guys can't find it, let me know. I'll, I'll tell you where to go. Yes, I'm sorry, Bob. I got carried away there. Yes, it, it is a bass fishing tournament. You must catch at least, well, you, you can catch as many as you want, but you can only bring three to the scale. 15 inches or bigger in any bass species. We're just following the rules uh, that are governed by Missouri's DNR on that. And in Table Rock, to, to put a bass in the live well, it's got to be 15 inches or bigger. Um, other than that, I am allowing pre-fishing because some of these people are coming from a distance. They've never been here. I've only been there a handful of times, and honestly, I've never done that well myself. Um, I did good with Jeff, and uh, I did fish a tournament last Saturday and caught one nice smallmouth. And um, I probably could have caught more fish, but I was trying to catch bigger ones and you know it it is what it is oh yes we will have uh, a big bass prize and a big crappie prize um there'll be cash for those cash for the winners of the tournament and the payouts are going to depend on how many boats show up so right now i think we have 15 this this giveaway will be 15 boats, so 30 people, and um, you know, hope for more. Hopefully, uh, people decide they uh, can get away and, and go do it. But you know, it is what it is. We're gonna have fun. Entry fee is $200, $75 goes into the prize pool, $75 goes to the Veterans 913 of Branson, Missouri, and that's going to go to help them. They, so for about the last year plus, um, as everybody knows, it's been a little hectic, and they have not been able to raise any money in the last year, which is a kind of a big deal for them. They do a lot with the local veterans here. Some of the money will go towards PTSD dogs and training. And, uh, you know, they have some families that they take care of that are in need. So that's what we're trying to do here. Um, ultimately, this is a charity event. And we are trying to raise money for the veterans here in Branson. I don't have a partner. <laughs> I don't. Uh, my father-in-law was talking about coming, but um, it's kind of up in the air right now. It's kind of weird timing for them. They're going to be going out to their lake house in New Jersey like a week after the tournament, and I don't know if they're going to be able to get away. It depends on the timing. But I, uh, I really I don't know who my partner is going to be yet. Well, Bob, you're more than welcome to come. Uh, Des Moines is not too far away. Uh, I was trying to figure out uh, Todd's comment about Jeff, if there's good medicine for... Yeah, if you hear voices in your head, just pretend like you don't. Uh, thank you, Oki Bassin. Yeah, I, I mean, that's, ultimately, that's, um, 
when I kind of thought of this, the veterans uh, was basically that, you know, it was kind of the first thing in my head. My dad was a Marine Corps veteran, and uh, it's, it's very near and dear to my heart. Hey, Peter. Um, wow, we're getting close to that 7.30. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I, at 7.30, I'll, I'll give this spot away in the tournament, and if you guys want to hang out, I'm here. Uh, um, I'm going to do another giveaway, which I'll preface probably Sunday, Sunday night for next week. Uh, we got a generous donation uh, from Jim Pleisner, Pleismer, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, they're not in the garage, but I have a slew of Blue Jays and Cardinals out in the tree. We got a birdhouse, and it's that time of year. It's It was 73 degrees here today. Gorgeous. When I, before I even started this, I'm like, oh, all people are going to do is hear the birds. But I kind of like them. So. Does anybody have any questions about the tournament that I, I can answer? No questions? Wow. We got a tough audience tonight. Yes, we are, Jeff. That's a plan tomorrow. How will we start off? We're going to line up, and uh, the Heritages are going to get a 10 minute head start on the other models because of their horsepower. Okay, I'm just kidding about that. I, I'm going to draw random numbers, and um, we'll just kind of treat it like a real bass tournament where you, you know, you're going to get, like, some sort of a ping pong ball or a little ticket with a number on it, and we'll just go out in order of numbers. Uh, at the end of the tournament, you have to be, like, if we decide 3, 3.30, Whenever that is, you have to be around. I want to be able to see people around the dock. You don't, you don't have to be up standing there right at 3.30, 3 o'clock, whatever we decide. But I want to see your boat and no fishing after 3.30. Just be there, be ready to weigh your fish at 3.30. Uh... Well, you can buy plastic bags at any fishing store. Um, way bags, they're called. Um, I'm probably going to buy some heavy-duty bags that, if you've ever seen a weigh-in, you put the fish, basically you get all the water out of them, and you roll them up in a plastic bag and stick it in a clothes basket on the scale. And um, I'm sure people will have bags if need. You know, if somebody doesn't have one or they forget one, it's it's a non-issue. We'll make it work. Uh, Stefan, I'd kind of like to have it two weeks before the tournament, maybe, or a week, um, just so I have enough time to get everything together. Um, and I guess you can also pay cash at, just because of how it turned out and the numbers are down, you can bring cash to the event day of, I'll be prepared. Just let me know. So I know what I'm dealing with.
Yeah, Steve, I'll call your work. Give me the number. I was telling something's wrong with your eyes that you couldn't see coming in today. But ultimately, the yeah, if I could get the money a week or two in advance, that would even be better. But I'm I, I'm not worried about it. Okay, so PayPal. Um, you got to be careful with PayPal. You want to make sure you're send just send it as friends and family, not like you're buying something, because they take a cut out of it. There's a couple. Uh, entries that were um, somebody paid in full and they took like eight dollars out of that so I'm not gonna make a big stink about it but I uh, a check could probably be better in the mail I have Venmo. I do. I think I have Zelle through my Chase Bank too. Oh. Hola, Charles. Shelby County Sheriff's Office. What color hats do I have for sale? Give me one second. They're right here, but I'm in the boat. Oh, old age is setting in. Okay, I'm back. So, I did have cryptic camo up until last week, and uh, we had a very generous uh, individual kind of got into a bidding situation last uh, giveaway and our live stream and he bid it up to $55 and that was that's very helpful that's gonna help uh, you know everything that I do with this channel every dollar counts I'm not I'm not making a ton of money on hats um, they were more just for something for you guys to have and and whatnot but uh, that hat sold for $55 and I didn't have to pay for shipping because he lives here. So I met up with him. And Steve Miller was kind enough to throw in one of his custom-made lures. And Jesse picked out what he wanted on the lure. And Steve's going to make them. And when it uh, comes back, I'll show it to you. It's cool. I mean, he does great work. It's really neat. Oh, yes. How is your work going to argue with the law, Steve? I mean, you just tell him that you got pulled over doing a buck ten, and Todd Connolly's uh, working on getting you a felony charge. Right on, Bob. Hey, have a good night. Um, what time is it? Hey, we're going to give that spot away in the tournament in about 30 seconds. <laughs> yes. Hi, Misty. My volume's quiet. What are you doing? Where was that? Under his bed. Drippy. <laughs> the dog now getting into everything. Here, I'll talk louder. Does that work? <clears throat> All right. Let's give away a spot to this tournament, okay? If you guys could do me a favor and, and, and like this, that would really mean a lot to me. 
We can get some more likes while I get this ready. Oh, we're going to have a shot. <laughs> Copy that, Steve. All right. I am going to... we got to pull up the random generator thing. It's all set to go. All right. There's 34 of you on here right now. If you haven't commented and liked the video that brought you here, that talked about the giveaway that's two minutes, nine seconds long, I'm going to give you just a couple minutes to go over there and do that. Right now, there's 23 unique commenters, and there's 34 people online. So if you want to win, the, if you want this opportunity to fish in this tournament for free, go over there and comment and like that video, please. Still sitting at 23. Give about 30 more seconds. And don't forget, the winner of this is going to get a pair of spooks for the winner and their partner. We have 24 unique commenters. You guys ready to see who's going to win this entry fee? Here we go. For $200 entry fee to the 2021 Bass Tournament, May 15th at Table Rock Lake. Todd Connolly! Just so you guys can see that. Congratulations, Todd. I know, awesome. Wow. Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty neat. And again, I want to thank the two people that made this happen. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you. I know, I wish I had 35 more of these to give you guys. I really do. Um, but uh, it is what it is. Thank you, Jim. You have a great night as well, sir. Yeah, maybe, Jeff. Um, Todd, do you want me to buy something for the tournament to give away or something for a giveaway? Um, a week, a monthly thing. They've kind of become weekly. We'll pack her and you in the truck and come down here for a weekend. It's glorious here. Give another entry. I don't, Wendy, I don't have. 
Uh, Todd, I'm going to save it for the tournament, if that's all right. <laughs> awesome. All right. Cheers, Todd. Cheers to all of you. I'm sorry I can give give one to everybody, like I said. Oh, have fun, Scott. Bet it all on black. Put everything on black. Cheers, Bob. Cheers to everybody. Whatever you win, Scott, you got to share it with me. Just kidding. Have fun in Vegas. Vegas is great. Wendy, were you were you giving a spot away in the tournament? Is that what you were doing? Boy, it just got spicy up in here. Uh, no, nah, dude, you're gonna win. You put ten on you. You walk right over that that roulette table and put ten on black. You're gonna win. I will not be up at 06. Jeff, if tomorrow morning's anything like it was today out here. It wasn't, it was super foggy until about eight o'clock. I'm talking fog. Like. <laughs> now you got Steve blowing kisses. What, what happened? What happened in here? Um, but, okay, so giveaway weekend is not over. Like I said, Sunday night, I am going to basically talk about the next giveaway. And we'll probably do that next week. Um, Monday is Baby T's birthday, so we can't do it on Monday. Drake has baseball games all week next week, so it's either going to be Friday or Saturday. Or Sunday. And that will be the Jim Plasmer giveaway. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Easter, Steve. Maybe we should do it Friday or Saturday then. Yeah. So Friday or Saturday we'll do it. I'll let you know in the in the video on Sunday night. <laughs> no, I'm using I'm actually uh using that stimulus money to do some improvements. We've already done Maggie's bathroom. And now we need to do Drake's, but uh, new vanities, new faucets, hardware, etc. And um, after that, we're trying to decide if we want to do hardwoods or, you know, match the hardwood that's in the kitchen, dining room, and living room. So, um, yeah, I figured if somebody's going to give me 5600 bucks that I'm going to have to pay back for the rest of my life. I'm going to spend it on my house. Right on, Ken Burke. Shag carpet. Now, I... I don't know. We'll see. 
it was pretty cold on that wood floor when it got down like 13 below. So I know that's rare around here, but um, just kicking around the ideas. But the, but that that stupid money that we got that I'm sure everybody liked getting a check. But at the end of the day, we're going to pay that back and it sucks. Did you guys see that moon? Is it a full moon tonight, by the way? Anybody know? I just saw it when I was coming back from baseball. You could see it coming up. It looked pretty big. Um, Steve B., Email me at mjbfishingllc at gmail.com and I will, uh, I'd rather have checks. It's easier. It's just, it's, it's, there's no BS. If you could mail me a check for the deposit, that would be great. Um, if that doesn't work, let me know. We can do Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, um, but it's just, it's after doing all of that and doing like people have sent all kinds of payment methods and the checks are just easy. <laughs> right on Peter. Yeah, I have a little channel. It's just a lot of friends, really. A lot of uh, cool people I've got to meet along the way, Ken. That's fine, Steve. However you want to do it, I'll uh, we'll make it work. Just email me and I'll get in touch with you on how to do that. Yeah, gas prices suck all of a sudden. I mean, at least we're not in California. I saw some signs that were over $5 a gallon. Uh, having cars that only take premium kind of bites. Uh, I haven't seen premium under about three twenty nine dollars for a couple weeks now, so that's, that's fun. Uh, hey, Ken, sorry, uh, where's Lake Lanier? Just refresh my... All right, Mark Newman in the house. Mark Newman is uh, one of the donors of uh, some prize stuff for the tournament, by the way. Very gracious of him. Which is blue line, by the way, is Newman. I like it, Wendy. That was a uh, Seinfeld reference, right? Oh. Speaking of Atlanta, did, were you in any involved in any of those tornado happenings? That looked pretty bad out there. Tell you what, when I get this tournament out of the way, there might be, might have to make a, do a little tour. It is hot. I'm telling you though. 
The sun is out. You can see that sunglass line. That was just a couple hours out there. The days are getting longer. What do we got? What are you, 745 and we still got daylight? Yeah, no, I, Jeff, I understand. I know where I live. <laughs> I, uh, I, I saw they had a pretty good ripper down there by Atlanta um, yesterday and it's tragic, but, you know, it happens. I've never seen a tornado. Ken, I have, I lived in Tucson for about 18 years before I moved here on Labor Day weekend of 2020, but I spent a lot of time in the Midwest uh, after about 19, 18 years old on, I used to go out for a couple weeks every summer uh, to Omaha, and I, I was, the very first night I was there, we were staying at my buddy's uh, wife's parents' house in a farm in the middle of nowhere, Council Bluffs, Iowa. And uh, about, we got done drinking or whatnot about 1.30 in the morning, and I felt like I had just laid down, and they're banging on the door, like, we got to go. And the house sounded like it was coming down. So we ran out and went in the storm shelter, and nothing happened on their property, just a lot of wind and rain. But uh, driving out to Omaha in the morning, we uh, there were 18 wheelers flipped over, fence posts ripped out of the ground, screwed out all around. It was uh, it was a pretty good one, but it was dark. So I mean, even if it was there, I probably wouldn't have seen it. I've gone looking for them, just never seen one. Yeah, um, I know all about muddy water, but uh, thankfully the Bull Shoals is big enough that you can go find clean water, even if it's even if it's brown, you can find clean water. There's tons of it. May 15th is going to be a great day. We're going to have very good weather. Um, yeah, I fished in fairly clear water today and caught tiny fish. Uh, a couple days ago, I fished in pretty stained to cloudy water and nailed them so uh, yeah bread for bass i mean you know seeing one in a distance is a lot different than seeing one coming at you i'm sure I, I'd rather see one from a distance. I don't need to have, I don't need to be super close. The volume's not working. Can you guys not hear me? Hello? Hello? Hey dad, we found that peanut butter jar. I heard. <laughs> Right on, Tony. Thanks for showing up, man. Have a great night. <laughs> I, uh, I can't help it, Jeff. Uh, thank you, Tony, for being here.
is anybody going fishing this weekend besides Jeff and I? Oh, somebody asked about the hats. I totally forgot. We have the traditional Tracker Heritage model. We have the Chartreuse and Gray model. And the Blaze Orange and Gray model. These are the ones that I have left. When these ones are gone, I'll probably get, I'll do something different. I, I, I don't want to make the same ones again because they are super rare. There's only a handful of them on the planet. Ken, that's the plan. I mean, originally it was let's get through the first one and learn something. And uh, so that we can, you know, just improve. But yeah, a lot of people, when I first mentioned this, a lot of people were excited. And then it was like, well, I wish it was closer. And I get it. I get it. Not traveling across, across the country with your boats, not for everybody. Um, Okeechobee. I'm, uh, yeah, hold on. I, I gotta get it. So let's talk about, uh, is anybody fishing in the Bass Tracker million dollar thing? Anybody even giving that a thought? I know where Okeechobee is. I've driven by it. I've never been there. I've never fished there. I basically drove by the exit for it going from uh, Orlando to West Palm Beach. Yeah, um, I'm going to do the Bull Shoals one, and that's in October, and the registration for that, I think, is July 12th. So there's a lot of time between now and then, and I'm going to spend probably a, a lot of hours on the lake. I'm going to head down that way. I've been branching out, getting further. To, I'm... Basically, I've almost fished all the water from the Power Sight Dam almost to uh, the Arkansas border. And I think where the Bass Tournament is launching out of is, I think it's called Buck Creek. And it's right on the Missouri-Arkansas border down there. It's probably from here, about an hour boat ride hauling ass. Um. But, you know, the only way to, to be successful, I think, is to know, know the lake, and especially at that price point. I mean, you're talking $900 a team. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, there are a million hotels here, big kid. Um, the people... Uh, there are people I have, like I said, I have rooms blocked at Porta Kimberling City Resort. You could call them and ask them if they allow dogs. They probably do. They have all kinds of dog walking stations that I saw when I was there a couple weeks ago checking it out. 
They also have, if you stay there, there's park boat parking with hookup. So you can power your boat. That's a big deal. Yeah, I did not practice when I fished in the tournament last weekend and it and it cost me. I I didn't know I went and hit all the obvious spots and you know, I thought I knew what I was doing, but <laughs> I uh you got to be prepared. If you're going to pay money to go fish, uh like that kind of money, $450 a person, you know, and your chances of winning a million dollars are about as slim as getting struck by lightning but it only takes one big fish to change your whole perspective right on jeff i'll see you in the morning um i'll probably be ready to roll about 7:38. Oh, what a nice group. I like how we compliment each other and say good night. And it's. I will, Jeff. I'll have some breakfast ready for you for sure. And some honey nut Cheerios. That That's all. Um, a way bag. To weigh your fish um that's all you need uh as far as missouri law you know it's the same as everywhere else a life jacket for each person on board a throw cushion i think you got to have some way to make noise uh which your horn suffices No, uh, to answer your question, bread for bass, I, I think I was incredibly lucky. Um, I did not have any of these issues that I'm hearing about. Um, in the last couple months, there's been a lot of integrity, structural integrity issues, uh, just cleanliness issues with a brand new boat like you were saying metal shavings and stuff everywhere i found a couple little curly cues um that were probably underneath some channels back by the gas tank but nothing that i was like you know it was obscene i you know and i i've seen comments of people's boats coming apart one thing that's becoming real evident it's happened to more than one boat now but people that have put the 24 volt tarova on the front of their boat it's considerably heavy heavier than the 55. if you do not support the head of your motor and bungeeing it to a, a a cleat isn't that doesn't qualify that thing is bouncing up and down and flexing that front plate that you're everything's mounted to and what's happening is is that front plate's coming apart from the hull of the boat and like all the way across and unless bass pro shops installed that trolling motor you probably have a real problem with the warranty but i'm kind of waiting to see how these people's stuff plays out but pretty much what you know, for the last three years, the tracker's been pretty consistent that if you drill hose in the boat and something happens to that part of the boat, it's on you. Have a good, oh, did I miss something? All right, Todd, have a good night, bud. Congratulations.
I am probably going to do a Bimini top. I've been wait, I've been pushing it off for three years. And after going fishing with Jeff McCain uh, on a hot day here last summer when I was looking at houses, um, I'm going to get one. It's at least you can go hide. If it gets too hot, you can get under there and just take a break and not have the sun beating on you. And, you know, for two and a half years in Arizona, you know, you want to talk about being exposed when it's 110. Um, the only saving grace is jumping in the lake. Yeah, I agree, Mike. I I want I I'm gonna do one. Um, I saw somebody ask the other day if black ones are too hot. I don't know. I don't know. The problem with my boat is, if like I don't care about matching. I mean, to a degree, I'm not gonna put a green one on here, but it's probably gonna be tan or brown. If they had an orange one, I'd be all about it, but I haven't seen an orange one. <laughs> right on, Mike. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube block your comment, but yes. Um, the brown one. How far is Arkansas from the launch point? Dude, uh, Arkansas from Port of Kimberling is a haul. You probably won't need, you probably won't need to do that. Um, it's, it's far. Jeff, Jeff did it. Um, basically went from, Eagle Rock, I think. I don't know where he launched. I think it was Eagle Rock, though. That's where he normally launches and went all the way there. And it's it's a haul. Like, I, I'd i be shocked if anybody in one of our boats went to Arkansas. If you look at a map, go find Port of Kimberling City on Table Rock and look southwest, and you'll see the Arkansas part of that. Now for me at Bull Shoals, it's a different animal. I'm, I'm probably a half hour full run to the Arkansas border. Right on Axe. Cool. Yeah, I last night me and the wife went out. We had to go to CVS to pick up a prescription for the kid, and uh, I was there's this really cool restaurant that's on Lake Tani Como uh, at the end of the Branson Landing. Good good party spot. But I was like, maybe we should have a thing here on Friday night. But it is kind of far. Um, it's probably. 25 minutes to a half an hour from Kimberling city. And so I don't know, maybe we just have a little party there Friday night. I'm staying there Friday and Saturday as well. So, um, if anybody has any ideas or, you know, you know, wants to do some sort of get together Friday night, uh, I'm all ears. Have a good night, Glenn. Um, I'm sure people are ax. I, uh, I fished it last weekend. My report is I know where the small mouth live. <laughs> uh, I probably won't. I'll probably fish Thursday. Friday, I'm going to be busy. I want to, I'm going to make sure I'm, my wife and I, and we have some help from uh, some of the folks on here, but, you know, getting this, getting all this stuff ready is, is priority for me. So get all that done Friday, have fun Friday night and fish Saturday, but I, I'll probably pre-fish on Thursday.
Um, yeah, and honestly, you guys, like, the, every time I go to Table Rock is a new for me because I have never fished it this time of year. I fished it in July, August, well, last weekend. And uh, I think Labor Day, I, I've, yeah, I've only been there a handful of times. And it's, uh, it's a big lake. So, you know, I think do, people that do their homework are going to get rewarded. Jeez, Jeff, what happened? <laughs> Did you get in trouble? Uh, perhaps. I've never been there. Uh, to the, what is that called? 10 killer. What I do know is there's a reason why, um, bass FLW, all these circuits have major tournaments here. They're, the fish are plentiful and the size is there. So, um, I'm partial to my lake. It's all the same. It's all the White River, really. But uh, I I think Bull Shoals is a hidden gem. I can go out here and, and drive my boat for a half an hour and not see a single person. And that is... That's why we kind of chose here. It's a lot quieter. I Lake of the Ozarks was an option because I could have a dock. But after going there and seeing the zoo that takes place there... I'm not interested. I'll go up there and visit, but I'm not going to live there. Thank you, Mike. I will. I'm, I do the best I can. Wendy, I'm not ignoring you. You'll get your green and gray hat. Wendy's getting a hat, you guys. Come on. She's my aunt. She used to babysit me and change my diapers. Part of me has the state of mind to tell Wendy to come and get it. But she lives in California. I don't think they're letting Californians out of California. Leave him alone. <laughs> That's funny, Steve. I got to show that. <laughs> Tell you what, Wendy was babysitting me. It's one of my earliest memories as a child. And it was before we moved into the house I grew up in the rest of my days, but... Wendy was babysitting me, and we were running around, and I smacked my head right in the corner of a wall and ended up having to go get stitches in my head. That's Wendy's fault. Um, the p Honestly, guys, uh, the pink one spoken for, I only have one, and it's different. Um, I'll show it to you. I can, I'll, I'll do more pink hats because they seem to have been popular, but the one that I have is spoken for, but I'll show it to you. So you know what it looks like. Hold on. Child. Okay. This one has the fish logo on it. So I am, like I said, uh, when these hats are gone, I probably have 
Got about ten left. I got a crypto, a cryptic camo one, one of five left on the wor in the world. But that's Steve Miller's. We've already worked out a deal for some Shanka lures for the hat. So uh, I got about ten left. Once those are gone, I'm gonna make new ones, new colors, new design, and just keep it fresh. I will, uh, if you guys can wait for the tournament to get hats, that would make it a lot easier. I don't have to ship them then if you're coming. If you're not coming, that's different. I'll get some pink hats, Jeff. We'll do more. I only bought, um, I only bought two of them. And one is Baby T's. She's got baby T written on it and all this kinds of stuff. And then that's the other one. And they were basically, I wanted to see how they worked. Um, not so much the hat, but, uh, Tabitha's press, the rest of the hats. That's the only one that has a pressed on logo. The rest of them are stitched. Heather, I'm trying to run a business here. This stuff's not cheap. <laughs> um, the hats are all adjustable. Um, and they, yeah, these particular run, ones run a little, the pink ones run a tad smaller than the, the other colors. It's just a different manufacturer. So, um, I think I can get some pink hats by then. Let me, uh, let me work on that. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do on Monday. I appreciate that, Heather. Um, my lawn does need mowing. If Jeff could throw his lawnmower in the back of his truck when he comes out tomorrow, that'd be that'd be nice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Griffey. You've left the dog outside, it goes bananas. Oh, I tell you what, you guys, this is fun. I think I got another one of these black cherry seltzers in me. I'll tell you what, switching over from regular beer to the seltzer beer is, uh, I noticed a big difference. The, the regular beer was really causing some inflammation in all my damaged parts. And now I've been drinking this, which I, I, I might party on these giveaways, but that's like once a month. <laughs> Otherwise, I pretty much take it easy. Axe, I had the same thing last weekend. Everybody had a 19 to 21 foot boat with a 250 horse on it and talons on the back. Um, that's no excuse for my performance, but... Uh, yeah, it is a little underwhelming when you're sitting there and they do like the blast. They did like a blast off and everybody just took off. Um, thankfully, I was going to a point that was like 300 yards from where we were sitting. That's where I wanted to start. I did have a bite there in my second cast and couldn't capitalize on the jerk bait. But.
I'd probably be the same party. We'd just be in the same place. <laughs> you caught a drum? I haven't caught a drum down here yet. The only the only place I ever have caught a drum in my life was in Lake Erie in Sandusky, Ohio. Those things squeak when they come out of the water. They're like... <laughs> Yeah, you know, I kind of had the same feeling when I got done with my tournament and brought one fish to the scale. And basically it was because I wanted to see how big it was. I My biggest smallmouth I ever caught was like 3.8 pound, three three and a half. And I thought this one had potential to be that size or maybe a skosh bigger, and it was 3.3. Three. So, you know, the guy that weighed it, he's like, hey, man, that's a nice smallmouth. I'm like, yeah, I needed four more, though, to go with it. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's supposed to be white bass and bull shoals. I'm not, I'm not 100% about table rock. I imagine they all have similar species in them. Um, I have yet to see a white bass here. I have yet to see a crappie here. Uh, I have caught walleye. <laughs> nice ones. So, I mean, they're, they're in here. I just haven't caught them yet. I'm really not trying to. I doubt what I'm doing is going to yield a lot of uh, white bass. I'm I'm really trying to pick apart the bass bite. Have a good night, Mike. Take it easy. Thanks for being here. Yeah, the the drum were fun. I, I took Drake out there on our way home from New York. And uh, what the hell? I'm leaking. Peter, have a great night. Thanks for being here. Oh, you're just saying goodnight to Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> Copy that. Yeah, um, I took Drake out there and uh, just, I wanted to catch fish with him. It really didn't matter what. And we caught a bunch of drum and a bunch of catfish right there in the Sandusky Harbor. Originally, we tried to make a run over to Cedar Point because I wanted to, I wanted to show him that. I, I went there on my way out to New York and, and made that run across the harbor in the open water, which in our, no problem. But on a day where the wind is just a little bit, uh, you start seeing 10 mile an hour wind out there and things get real different. It's a lot different than your normal lake. And uh, me and Drake made it about quarter mile across and I he had the fear of God in his eyes and I'm like do you want to fish in the harbor and he's like yes <laughs> and it was fun we had a great time we caught fish and that kids don't care as long as they're catching fish they're cool with it I did I tried to catch bass the first time I was there on my way out east and I uh I, I couldn't find any bass, so maybe I just wasn't doing it right. That was before I was introduced to <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Lake Erie is the real deal. Those are intercoastal waterways for a reason. You have to have extra safety gear on your boat and... You know, and ultimately, the, and the weather can change there in a blink of an eye. And it can be calm one minute, and the next minute, you you got eight-foot rollers. It's, you know, it's, it's not one of those places you want to fool around, and you better be prepared to swim. Yeah, I fished that whole area all the little the there was these old uh it looked like these 
slips that were built to like repair boats way back in the day. Um, I fished all of that, dude, with no success. So, and I was there about the third week in July, second week of July when I was doing that. And then it would have been like the second week of June when I was on my way out there, first week of June. And um, just couldn't, couldn't figure it out. I'm going back there, by the way. <laughs> I'm going. I uh, There's a couple places I need to go to this summer. One of them is Lake Michigan again. And uh, I'm going to be up there, so why not make the run to Sandusky? It's about an eight-hour drive, I think. I forget, but I did it. I went from Chicago to Sandusky, and it's not a big deal. Um it's a uh, Sandusky is kind of a dump of a town, but the lake is awesome. I'm thinking sometime in July gizmo. That would probably be about when I could pull that off middle of July. Fishing for Bass TV, um, I'm sorry, but the giveaway has, has already happened. It happened at 7.30 uh, Central Time. In the future, um, I am doing a giveaway. I, I will have a, v a video out Sunday evening for a video coming up next week. Um, uh, it'll be a giveaway of... I, I quite haven't figured out what I'm giving away yet, but it'll be of a hundred dollar value. Yeah, a gentleman by the name of, uh, name of Todd Connolly won. Um, he's uh, he's one of uh, our subscribed law enforcement officers, so that that was a good thing. That's good for him. And I believe he's fishing with his wife in the tournament, so that'll be great to meet them both. Yeah, Gizmo, I'll definitely let you know. I'm I um, one of my best friends since childhood lives uh, about 45 minutes west of downtown, and I'll probably be staying with him. And uh, my goal is to once again put the boat in the Lake Michigan and take it up the coast and go in through the locks and go fish downtown. I did that when I was there couple years ago and it was a blast and I lost all that footage my hard drive crashed and I lost it before I could ever make a video about it or even savor the pictures so I want to recreate that there's a ton of law enforcement in this group Uh, I'm thinking 3.30, Axe. 3, 3.30. Uh, I think 3.30 is fine. Um, but yeah, it'll be like 7 to 3.30. It's going to be a... The tournament I fished in last weekend was 7 to 2. And I feel like 3.30 is a... 7 to 3.30, that's a full day. If you guys have any suggestions about that, I'm all ears. Um, but uh, what I, I'd rather us take off in the daylight, which by May it should be. Seven o'clock was just daybreak last Saturday here. So I'm thinking by tournament time, six, 615, we'll have daylight um, and be ready to go around seven.
my mom still on here? I haven't seen her talk for an hour. Yeah, it's not a bad thing to know people in other places in case you want to go fishing. Um, that's awesome, bread for bass. Good luck, dude. Whip them. 3.30 is way in. Larry should be on here, Michael. I'll tell you what, I, uh, when I get out to New Jersey, wh how far are you from the New Jersey border, BA from PA? I forgot if we've talked about this. Uh, my... The other family lake house is in a place called Newton, New Jersey, and it's about two and a half, I think two and a half, three hours to Hershey, Pennsylvania from there, so... Oh, how I fished, hold on, I fished this little lake on the Ohio, Pennsylvania border. I'm going to look it up. Mosquito, Mosquito Creek. I fished there when I left Sandusky and headed to. To Newton, New Jersey, and it was, uh, yeah, I want to say it was called Mosquito Creek Lake, or I'm gonna find it for you guys because that place was cool. It, uh, do you know what I'm right on, Peter? I'll definitely hook up with you. Where's that lake? It's right on the border. Hold on. Oh, God. Mosquito Creek. That's what it was. Okay. I wasn't crazy. It's just this long, narrow lake that runs north and south. It was, uh... Where... Oh, dude, I spent half my life in Canada. I'm probably okay if I don't go there again. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, dude, I'll, I'll go fish wherever. I just I got to make time. Peter, where are you at um, in relation to Newton? So, Bradford Bass, have you ever been to this Mosquito Creek lake at all? I'm just curious before I tell this story. <laughs> it 
So anyway, I'm I leave Sandusky. I'm headed to New, New Jersey. I knew I had a a long day ahead of me, but I uh, I thought, what the hell? While I'm here, I'm gonna you know I had an Ohio fishing license for a couple of days, so I thought, why not uh, stop and fish at some lake that's easy access off the freeway? So I get there. And uh, I, there's tons of boat trailers. There's boats all over. There's this uh, basically a, this road that runs across the lake. And it's got like a rock wall on both sides. And you can go underneath it to this really shallow area. But I'm looking out there and I see all these boats fishing this rock wall. So I'm like, yeah. Back it in. Get everything ready. I turn around and I start hauling ass that way <laughs> all of a sudden my boat's like going wah, wah. i'm like what the hell's going on that lake had so much hydrilla in it it was unbelievable it was like this far under the water but you couldn't see it and i i hit just basically just chopping broccoli and before i realized what was going on and um yeah don't don't be that guy Put your boat in an unknown lake and just haul ass. <laughs> Nothing happened, but, you know, you, that could have just been a bunch of boulders, too. Have a good night, big kid. Oh, gotcha. I know where Milford is. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. It's uh, it's been real tonight. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this. Um, I do. I got some stuff I got to do before I go to bed. Um, but I I again I want to thank the donors for their generous donation uh, to allow a team to fish for free. And uh, Todd Connolly, congratulations on winning that spot. You're most deserving of it. And to all of you guys that are here week in and week out, monthly, whenever you show up, I appreciate each and every one of you. I look forward to meeting you. You guys have a great night. I'll see you in the future. Take it easy.